We're creating jobs through living with the resources that are in the environment naturally. So Francis, taking a look at the sustainable development goals that were adopted by the United Nations, what do they have to say about sustainable production, consumption and trade? The sustainable development goals look at the environmental, economic and social dimensions of, of living responsibly on this planet. On the sustainable production and consumption side, they have an explicit goal on economic development, not just about environmental and social. On, and that's goal number eight. It's a target sustainable production and consumption. Goal 17 is about the means of implementation. How are we going to get sustainability? And there, there's targets explicitly on international trade, international finance, policy coherence, and so on. So production, consumption, and trade are integral components of how we're viewing sustainability on this planet. And what do these goals have to say about nature wildlife conservation and their implications on wildlife trade? So what's very interesting there is that the goals look at both economic issues and they look at how do we live with our planet? How do we save our planet? And so there's another goal, goal 14, that's on the oceans. And it's about how do we conserve and sustainably use marine resources? And then there's a goal, goal 15, on terrestrial. How do we conserve and sustainably, sustainably use terrestrial ecosystems, wetlands, drylands, forests, and so on. So one of the challenges is how do we link the aspirations in sustainable production and consumption and trade to conservation of marine and terrestrial ecosystems. And taking a look at wildlife ranching in South Africa, you've recently come to South Africa to visit. So how is this industry contributing to sustainable development goals? So it was really interesting, just before Easter, I was down in Pretoria for a private meeting with the Wildlife Ranching South Africa Association, where th there's a whole industry that's looking at how to manage the landscape in an environmentally responsible way that also creates jobs, that also creates economic opportunities. And this is called wildlife ranching. There's now probably 20 million animals that are privately managed um, on these wildlife ranches. There's about 300,000 jobs. It's a bigger sector now in South Africa than the sugar industry or than the dairy industry. And what they're doing is they're actually taking marginalized agricultural lands getting out, removing the crops, removing the cattle, removing the sheep, and replacing it with kudu, wildebeest, and pella, and making a living off of indigenous animals being managed for an, uh, um, indigenous products. And those products can be tourism, hunting, meat, hides, and so on. So it's a whole sustainable landscape program in which we're creating jobs through living with the resources that are in the environment naturally. Wow, so what needs to be done for this industry to create rural job, jobs, create money and make it sustainable? At the local level, there's a lot of work to be done at, in a country like South Africa, any country, to get the policy framework right. But there's also work to be done at the global level. So one of the aspects of, of SDG 17, the Sustainable Goal 17, is policy coherence. At the global level, we have a convention on international trade and endangered species that wants to stop bad trade, detrimental trade. We have a convention on biological diversity that promotes sustainable use and sustainable trade. And we have the World Trade Organization, based here in Geneva, that wants to promote international markets and economic development through international trade. We need alignment between those policy frameworks so that industries like wildlife ranching can develop and have markets both domestically and internationally so they can export tourism, export hunting, export meat and hide and so on. And so that's a big opportunity now this year with the CITES convention taking place in South Africa to look carefully at how do we connect the dots at the global level so that we can create jobs at the local level. Well, Francis, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights with us. Thank you for having me. It was good fun. Well, that's all for myself and Francis, but for all the latest Jukoscopy updates and exclusive market moves, do keep clicking back to Jukoscopy TV. <laughs>